Okay, uh, Tobias, you knew that this was going to happen because you started this, I think. Uh, but he uh, told me in a comment, uh, he says, hey, you know, we should have a uh, open tag on liner locks. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it this weekend. But then I thought, why wait for the weekend? Let's just do it now. So I've been digging out my uh, my liner locks and looking for those. And uh, so we have those. I have a couple ones that are new to show on the channel. I have a couple that you've seen before, and that's okay. Uh, I am going to start off with an honorable mention. I didn't include uh, multi-tools in this, uh, but all of these... Uh, multi-tools they usually have a uh, a liner lock but i didn't feel that uh, i wanted to go and dig out my multi-tool uh, collection i thought i'd kind of put this to uh, pocket knives uh, instead of uh, instead of multi-tools but if you want to put multi-tools in your tag uh, feel free to do so because there's no rules you can have large small medium uh, multi-tools uh, multiple types. All that we're looking for is liner locks. And I found that I have a lot less liner locks than I thought I had. Uh, but we'll just go through my collection and we'll see what you guys think. And we'll have maybe uh, some suggestions for getting some stuff at the end. But we'll start off with this one here. This is the uh, Kershaw, the Oso oh Suite, uh, designed by Ken Onion. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome knife. Uh, I really like this one. I think it's uh, really a very good knife. Uh, it's never let me down. Uh, it's always just flown right out. Kershaw just knows how to tune those detents perfect. And as you can see, it is a liner lock. And we can see the uh, lock up on it right there. But yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite little knives. Nice, lightweight knife. Uh, good grip with this design of the of the handle. Uh, it's just, you know, like I said, this is a good knife. If you can find one, I don't think they make it anymore. Maybe I think there was an upgraded version that just came out. Uh, but I really uh, recommend this one if you, if you uh, need a, a good knife. Here, we'll go ahead and leave them open so you can enjoy all their slicey goodness. We'll just uh, kind of put them there. Uh, this next one, I haven't done a proper review of it yet, but I really like it. This is the CJRB Feldspar, and this is in the natural uh, G10 handles, which I think are just gorgeous. Uh, I was thinking about dyeing them, but I don't know. I, I really like it. Uh, sometimes I can flip this out, sometimes not. I'm just going to I'm not going to worry about it on camera. Beautiful blade shape. I really like how it is. And this is a uh, a liner lock. Uh, but yeah, this has been a really good uh, knife. I enjoy uh, carrying it. And again, good good worker. Uh, absolutely no complaints. Uh, I really like the little uh, gold uh, pivot pin area there. I think it makes it look nice. Uh, this is just a really good uh a good knife i was lucky enough to uh win this one uh from uh, william at williams knife life when he had one of his giveaways that was uh that was an awesome uh win on that one uh this next one is the uh gerber air ranger this is the canadian version that i got from mr stuart harvey uh this has no no uh, thumb studs so it's been uh, neutered for the uh, canadian market uh, because uh, having thumb studs makes it somehow worse. I have no idea what that could possibly be worse about it, but you have the really nice uh, combo knife with the serrations that are useful and the uh, plain edge, uh, all aluminum construction, definitely a liner lock. And this, I, I really like this knife. Yeah, this is one that you can usually find in just about any px anywhere uh i need to get the american version because i'd like to compare it with this one uh you know but definitely it's a it's a good knife you know pocket carry got the clip you know it's just a, a very handy useful knife 
I like this one a lot and it's a good one. It's nice to have some, uh, you know, stuff that uh, maybe is not so common here in the U.S. So it's kind of cool to uh, to get that. Thank you again, Stuart. Oh no, I killed our rat who was already dead. But uh, let's get him, get your undead self back in line here, buddy. Okay. All right. The TL-29 uh, has a liner lock for the the screwdriver. You know, so you get the nice big uh, brass liner lock here uh, that will lock your screwdriver into place. The uh, knife blade, of, co of course, is a slip joint, but, uh, you know, we've, we've seen TL-29s on this channel before. I like them. I think they're awesome. Definitely, I think they deserve a place in the uh, liner lock uh, area. Uh, here is my Boker Trapper liner, and this also is a liner lock, and it's uh, a fantastic knife. I really like this one. It's uh, it's great. This was a gift uh, to me uh, from uh, David Portman, and I appreciate it. It's in this very beautiful uh, wood, the Grenadille wood, the same wood that they use to make uh, woodwind instruments. It's just a absolutely uh, beautiful knife, beautiful fit and finish. I mean, it's just it's a wonderful, wonderful knife. Uh, rides on uh, on bushings, you know, and it has the uh, little thumb stud here that I I'm still not quite practiced at it, and that was one of the reasons he uh, didn't care for this is because he's a lefty, and it just has the uh, little thumb stud for right-handed deployment. But, uh, yeah, it's going to take some time to, uh, to master, but there we go. That one wasn't bad. All right. So yeah, got the nice, uh, acid wash, uh, stone wash, you know, finish going on. It's just a really, really nice knife. And then we have an old timer. This has got the, uh, liner lock. This is the 194. OT and this is really a very nice uh, knife very good uh, worker and uh, it just fits right in your pocket it just fits right in your hand I'm trying to fight a sneeze <laughs> sorry guys uh, man I'll tell you the dust out here sometimes gets to you but uh, yeah, it's a very handy uh, knife. I like it. This is the one, this is a made in China version. You can still get the US made ones on eBay or some other uh, secondhand store. But uh, this has been a really good knife. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Uh, so if you're looking for a good work knife that locks in place, if you like the looks of a traditional old timer, but you want the security of one that locks up, uh, I would say go ahead and try this one and get the Made in China version because they're still, I think, right around $15. And that will uh, save you money if you want to spend the money to get one of the uh, Made in the USA versions. Then uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, but, you know, this way you can try it out. And then if you decide you want to get a, uh, a older one, you can. I'm not going to say they're necessarily better, uh, you know, because you just have to, with anything that's used, like that, you know, you're probably not going to find one that's new in the box, you know, so that's just something that you'll have to take a chance on, but good knife, love the blade shape and it locks up and that's really nice. Of course, you knew that this guy was going to make an appearance, the good old, uh, Roper Pecos hybrid because thumb stud, liner lock, pocket clip, uh, this it's perfect. I don't have nothing else. I've, I've had this guy on the channel how many times? You guys are probably getting sick or tired of uh, seeing it, but uh, I, I can't really say anything else. <laughs> it's just, for me, that knife hits every every single box, you know. So uh, that that's good. Uh, this is the Elite Tactical uh, Red Reticle or Reticle Red uh, Knife. I actually uh, won this on uh, Big Red EDC. And so I won the uh, contest. Uh, so this is, it's a cool little knife. Uh, at first I was like, huh, 
you know, it is a liner lock, but it's D2 steel. It is uh, an assist knife, but, you know, really it's not bad. You know, the blade shape is nice. It flies right out. You have really good uh, belly on the blade. It's been a, a nice uh, work companion and I carried it today as a matter of fact. So if you look at my uh, Instagram, I usually post my daily carry unless things are just too crazy and I'm way too busy to do so. But, uh, but yeah, this has been a really good little knife. I don't think they're that expensive. Uh, he got it, I think, on Smoky Mountain, but it's really uh, a really nice uh, little knife. Good, good little beater. You know, if you need something that you want to just, you know, have a knife to stick in the toolbox or whatever, and you know, have an assisted knife, this is uh, this is a good one. Kind of has that, uh, you know, kind of the reverse uh, Tanto thing going on, but yeah, it's a it's a good one. I definitely would recommend it. It's one that, like I told him when I was writing back and forth, it's not a knife that I would have sought out or one that I would have necessarily looked at. In fact. If I saw it, I probably would have just passed it over. Uh, but it's uh, it's been a good knife. It's really worked out. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, this one is the uh, K-Bar Warthog. Uh, this is the one with the uh, serrations and the uh, plain edge. It is a Tanto blade and it is a liner lock. And this uh, knife came to me through uh, Stuart also. Yeah, so this is one of his favorite work knives he said he I think went through a couple of them on the job and this thing is a beast it really is uh, really good uh, knife it's lightweight I do like the handle you can choke up on it a little bit uh, and not you know you have this little place for your finger so it doesn't get in the way it's got some good jimping you can grab it around here or if you want to get there it is textured here on the rear uh, so it does fit in your hand well, it doesn't slip. Uh, nice handles. Uh, again, if you need a good work knife and you're just looking for something that can take abuse, uh, this guy lives up to his name. It is, uh, the Warthog is, you know, really a, a good knife and it's somewhat of a, of a beast. Uh, here's another one that has not been on the channel before. Uh, but it's been on Instagram. This is the CRKT Endorser. And I was going to do a full review of this one. This one's kind of an odd uh, duck. Uh, it has this fast fire uh, deployment system. So I don't know if you can see here, this uh, thumb stud is split. And I think it is showing on, on the camera. Uh, let's see here. But this is split. And so what it does is it actually, uh, there is a, a little, almost like a lock that's here. And so it was funny because the knife comes to you open. And so when I folded it closed the first time, I couldn't get it to go back open. And I was like, did I break this knife or is it is it broken? You know, it has this beautiful laminated wood uh, covers that are on it. Uh, I had to actually watch a YouTube video to figure out how to open it because there's no instructions on the box. Uh, so what you have to do is is you have to push in on this at the at the same time while you so you're pushing in and away, and then it will open up. And every once in a while you can get it; it will fly out of there. It is a beautiful uh, blade shape. Uh, they said that this lock design won an award at Blade Show for innovation, but uh, not for me. Uh, it's you know I don't I don't want uh, extra bells and whistles. I'm good with just plain thumb studs. Assisted opening is good. If it's a you know two-handed opening, I'm good with that. But I think this was a solution in search of a problem. Uh, was kind of my take on it. But it is a beautiful knife, and uh, if you hit it just right, this thing does fly right on out there. Uh, but like I said, for me most of the time. I don't hit it right. And it's not something that, you know, I would want to say that I could deploy this, you know, a hundred percent of the time, uh, the way it's supposed to deploy. Not like I could say, you know, the, uh, oh, so sweet or the Feld spar or any of these other knives, I can get them to deploy a lot easier than this one, but it is a pretty knife. Uh, it was a gift. I enjoy it. It does, 
it does cut. It's just uh, kind of a weird, funky opening system, but it's a liner lock. So uh, anyways, here you go, uh, Tobias. Uh, here's all the liner locks. I think this is every liner lock I have at the moment. Uh, so let's see what you guys got. Uh, you know, I'll call out everybody, you know, William, uh, Big Red, uh, Knife Detector, anybody that wants to, wants to join in this, uh, little fun tag, uh, Jersey Pete, I know you probably got a ton of liner locks, uh, but go ahead guys and let's see what, what we got. Let's come up with this and then, uh, we'll get some more, uh, some more funky tags going, but I just figured what the heck, we'll go ahead and kick this one off tonight. Enjoy. I'll talk to you guys later.